With every game, the battle between Pakistan and England is getting more entertaining than anything else in the world. The most talk about series has witnessed almost everything so far, from Alex Hale smashing boundaries once again to Pakistan chased down the 200 plus target with 10 wickets in hand. While the 30 20 international was won by the visitors again after setting a 224 target for the home side. Their bowlers then restricted the Pakistan batters to 158 for 8 in 20 overs to win the game by a huge margin of 63 runs and took a 2-1 lead in the series. But Pakistan again bounced back in the 40-20 and how? Hello viewers, welcome to Stumps and Bales. This is your host Vineet Vashisht. Pakistan, after setting a target of 167 in the 4020 International on Sunday, restricted the English side to 163 to win the game by 3 runs. The match was highly intensive as England just needed 5 runs to win the game with 3 wickets in hand. On top of that, the well-set Liam Dawson was on the crease and playing at 33 with an almost 200 plus strike rate and things were looking in control of the visitors. But Harris Rove has some other plans in mind. The dangerous bowler first removed Dawson and then Oli Pop in the same over. Then in the final over of the game, Topley was run out by Shan Mansoor to send the crowd into a frenzy. Interestingly, this is the first series between Pakistan and England in Pakistan after a long gap of 17 years. Pitch Report After playing the first four games at the National Stadium in Karachi, teams will now fly to Lahore to play the final three games at the Gaddafi Stadium. The pitch at Gaddafi is known for high-scoring battles and as the batters of both teams are currently in good form, they will surely take the benefit of the pitch and will try to score huge runs. Pakistan vs England players to watch out for Mohamed Rizwan, who is the highest run scorer in the series so far, will continue to dominate in his area with his class betting and solid technique. Notably, he has worked on his strike rate as well and in the four inning he played so far, he smashed runs with 141.57 strike rate. Babar Azam, who smashed a brilliant 100 in the second game, looking in good touch and everyone knows when he is in touch, what he can deliver. Harry Brook impressed the most as the better in the English lineup in this series. He has scored 188 runs so far, including his districted knock of 81 runs in just 35 deliveries in the third game that helped his side secure the game. With the pitch at Lahore is favorable for the batters, Brook will look to smash boundary in every corner of the stadium. The young Shah Mansood, who made his international debut in this series, will be a crucial player to watch out for, as many believes he is a prominent talent and a future superstar for Pakistan. Haris Rauf and Nasheem Shah will lead the fast bowling department for Pakistan. Rauf has so far picked six wickets in four games and will try to dominate in the next games as well. While Mohammad Nawaz's spin and batting down the order can also be a key factor for the Pakistan side in the series ahead. While England's highest wicket taker in the series so far, Adil Rashid will be a bowler Pakistan should aware about. Pakistan vs England, who will win the series? As far as the winner of the series is concerned, then the Pakistan will have a slight edge over the English side to win the series as their skipper Babar Azam now back in form to provide soaring opening partnership alongside everyone's favourite Mohammad Rizwan. English team on the other hand managed to give headache to the home side as well and even without playing without their star players like Josh Butler, Johnny Besto and Liam Livingston, they were seen dominating the men in green most of the time during the first four games and this team will be a serious threat for the Pakistan side in the last few games as well. Thanks for watching this video and if you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe to Stumps and Bales YouTube channel and also don't forget to follow all our social media handles as well. That's all for today's segment. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye and take care.